Hey, we have with us here one of the bright young stars at ASCO 2013. His name is Jahan Mohedin. He's from the University of North Carolina School of Medicine. He's not a doctor yet, but he's a student and a poster presenter here at ASCO. Congratulations on being here. This is your first time. This is my first time, and thank you very much. What's it like? Uh, it's been a great experience so far. Um, this is the first time I've been at a national conference, let alone ASCO. And it's just a huge event with people from all over the world. Today, when, uh, when I was dry, I had a shuttle over here. There was a practicing general surgeon from Nigeria on my shuttle, and he was talking to me about what it's like to do surgery there. And it's just been really, really uh, a great experience to meet people with so many different experiences. Good for you. Let's talk about the poster that you're presenting. Okay. Um, so last year when I was planning my summer research project with my mentor, Lisa Carey, um, my thinking was influenced by conversations I was having with other physicians about how very frequently patients will look up their disease and their prognosis online. And all too often we're ending up on sites that were unreliable, things like message boards, and basically getting misinformation and not getting a clear picture of their prognosis. And so the primary goal of my project was to create a prognostic model that could predict a patient's probability of distant relapse within five years after neoadjuvant chemotherapy, and then build a website that patients and providers could use to plug in their variables, click calculate, and then it spits out a probability of relapse within five years. And how has it gone for you? It's gone really well. Um, just doing the project was a great learning experience and then presenting it here uh, has been even better. I'm just getting feedback from doctors about new ideas for further research and then even a, a patient advocate stopped by and we talked at length about how excited she was about the website and that she thought that it filled a gap um, an information gap for patients to find more accurate information about their disease and their prognosis. Let's talk about the applications for both clinicians and patients. The internet is obviously a wealth of information. You can find anything and that's, that's a great thing. But for patients, all too often they're getting poor quality information that hasn't been peer reviewed and it can even undermine doctors' conversations with pa patients when they're hearing conflicting things. Um, and so I think this fills a need where it's a tool that is based more on science, uh, it's peer reviewed, and they, uh, doctors can kind of use the website with the patient hand in hand and go over the information that it gives them to give a clearer picture of a woman's prognosis. So go ahead, plug the website, tell people where they can find it and how they can use it. Okay, you can find the website at www.neoadjuvantrelapse.info um, and it's really easy, input the age, there are four more questions, click calculate and it gives the probability of distant relapse within five years after undergoing neoadjuvant chemotherapy. Very good. You're a fine young man. Congratulations you on your success. I'm sure your family's very proud of you. Thank you very much. Okay, Jahan Mohedin from the University of North Carolina School of Medicine presenting proudly here at ASCO 2013. Good for you, man. Nice